Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys some Ultra League gameplay for the first time for this season. They recently released Ultra League and took out the Great League. Um, so we will be getting a 5-1 with this new team I've created, which includes Alola and Muk, Cresselia, and Melmetal. We may even try to go for the um, 10-0 with this team. So if you guys do enjoy, please consider dropping a like, subscribing, and turn notifications on. And with that being said, let's get on with today's video. Alright guys, for the first round, my opponent's first Pokemon is actually a Togekiss. He did make a swap out into Gyarados right as I got my um, my Acid Spray charged up. He does make a swap out into a Gyarados, so that is a very good time for me to make that swap out into my Melmetal. I do decide not to fully charge up here because Rock Slide, I do, Rock Slide will be doing super effective damage stacked on with that defense debuff. I did want to get a bit of a farm done for my Melmetal, so I did try to under farm there, but it still wasn't worth it because he did actually throw in his shield. From here, as you guys see, my Thunder Shocks are doing a really good amount of super effective damage against him, so I do decide to go for the hard farm down. He has only a few Thunder Shocks left, plus I do have two Rock Slides charged up on this Yeah, he does. Uh, he does throw in an Aqua Tail. He, his first charge move was actually a Twister that did do not very effective damage, but my mistake there was I, that I did actually throw in a shield for that Twister. Um, Twister was going to be doing not effective damage against my Melmetal due to Dragon Test being not very effective against Steel types. So we did mistakenly make um, throw in that shield there. And then my opponent does make another swap out into his Metagross. Right here, he does also make a swap out into Togekiss right after I did make that swap out into Alolan Muk. His Metagross did get scared of my Alolan Muk because that would have been a very very bad 1v1 against him due to dark test being super effective against psychic types and as you guys and if you guys didn't know mel metal is a psychic and metal type pokemon so he does make another swap out into a toko kiss he didn't um, fully farm or charge up that angel power so he did get somewhat of a good farm down um i do remember that i did have my mel metal back there we will be able to survive a few um, chimes before we do get two our rock sets so that is very good as you guys saw there we did basically one shot him he just makes a swap onto his final pokemon that metagross this rock side will definitely get him to have health so although it is going to be doing not very effective damage due to rock types being not very effective against steel types it does do a good amount of damage enough damage that it does get him to have health and even to the red zone so with that one hp clutch we do get to another rock slide that will be doing not very effective damage but it will probably faint him from the health that he is at i didn't even have to farm all the way allowing us to win the first round good game to our opponent Alright guys, for the second round, my opponent's first Pokemon is an Agron. Agron is a Steel and Rock type Pokemon, so he will be doing neutral damage against us while we are going to be doing neutral damage as well. But his his Dragon type fast move is going to be doing very effective damage or neutral damage against us as well, and his Stone Edge is also going to be doing neutral damage. He probably is running Stone Edge rather than. Um, Heavy Slam because Stone Edge is probably stronger. Plus, with his Dragon's a fast move, it will probably charge up way faster. But I do know that we will be able to survive those Stone Edges because Alolan Muck is pretty tanky, or not that tanky. He will be able to. He just will be able to survive those types of moves. As you guys saw there, we did basically get. He did basically get us to half health. I. Uh, third dark pulse does charge up as well um he did also throw in a shield for all of my dark pulses and i didn't even shield that stone edge so he is only if i did get to that one more dark dark pulse he would have been dead right there um since Agron is a steel and rock type pokemon i do decide to make a swap out into melmetal uh, as well because i do know that he does have access to stone edge as his charge move uh, even if he does um bait and make us and have double moves for stone edge and heavy slam he will be doing not very effective damage against with all of those moves due to rock types and steel types being not very effective against steel types so he is very low i do decide to go for the hard farm down i didn't want to get hit with the stone edge it was going to be doing not very effective damage but it does um, get my Mel Metal to have health, which I don't want to happen. We did get a bit of a farm done there, and we are halfway to loading up to my Rock Slide. 
His final Pokemon is, or his second, po his second Pokemon is a Typhlosion. He doesn't have Incinerate, so I don't have to worry about him getting to those charge moves as fast. Um, he is going to be doing super effective damage against my Melt Metal, but I will be able to get to my Rock Slide before he does faint us. That is very good because my um, Cresselia could have taken damage from a Blast Burn or a Solar Beam from the health or from the energy that he got fighting my Melt Metal. So he does make a swap onto his final Pokemon, which is that empoleon since it is his final pokemon i did want to make that quick swap into my cresselia knowing that my um mel metal is only a few hits away from fainting i did want to get as much energy off as possible for my cresselia so i did make that quick swap and as you guys see cresselia is a very strong pokemon although my psychic type moves and my moon blast is going to be doing not very effective damage we are just out damaging and out healthing his <laughs> Uh, and pull the on there um he does get a red health face but i do try to up to my moon blast i still do have that one shield left and because of that it does allow us to win the second gun go game to my opponent all right guys for the second gun so he does make a swap out into Machamp. Machamp is an only fighting type Pokemon, but I do know that he does have access to playback. If he did actually have access to that community exclusive move, my Cresselia would have been doing very bad against him. Um, but I'm guessing he didn't because he did make a swap out into Gigalith. We did also get that good attack debuff on him. Moonblast, if you guys did not know, it does give your opponent a slight attack debuff and my Cresselia is absolutely crushing this Gigalith. Um, once again, as you guys saw, Cresselia is a very tanky Pokemon, so even a Solar Beam just like that will be doing um, barely half health to my Cresselia. He does make a swap out to his second Pokemon, which is that Charizard. Charizard is a flying and fire type Pokemon. Um, is going to be doing neutral damage with his fire attack moves against my Cresselia, but these moon blasts are going to be doing not very effective damage, but a lot of not very effective damage. So, my second moon blast just charge up. We may or may not see a shield go through because he did throw in a shield before, and we do not get a shield, but we do successfully get him to half health. I do decide to make a swap out into Mel metal i do have to watch out for those fire type moves because they will be doing super effective damage due to fire types being super effective against steel types but as you guys see he does throw in a sky attack that does do not very effective damage um indicating that because of that blue when he did throw it in so uh, he's going to be doing super effective damage with his fire attack moves and he doesn't make a swap out into a Machamp. Machamp is an only fighting type Pokemon, so he will be doing super effective damage with his fighting type moves here. I did decide to stick the one on one as you guys saw there because I did actually have my Rock Slide almost charged up, and my final Pokemon is that Alone Muck. That is going to be a very bad start, but if I am successful and do get to that Dark Pulse before he does get to his Cross Trap, that will mean that will do a lot for this battle or this one on one we, he does get to his charge move right as i get to my dark post so that still is okay um he does throw in a cross trap that was going to be doing a lot of neutral damage against us so i do have to throw in this dark pulse his final pokemon is that moltres and his sky attacks are probably going to be doing neutral damage and not enough damage to faint my alone muck actually so Right here, my opponent does actually have that 1 HP clutch. He does get to his cross trap before I do actually farm him down. His final Pokemon is that Moltres. I did get enough energy to charge up to another Dark Pulse, and because of that, it does allow us to win the second round. Go him to our opponent. Alright guys, for the third round, my opponent's first Pokemon is a Roserade. 
Roseland is a grass and poison type Pokemon, so we will be doing neutral damage against him with our poison type moves from Acid Spray and Dark type moves from Dark Pulse. We will be doing a lot of neutral damage while taking not very effective damage hits back from my opponent due to grass types being not very effective against poison types and poison types being not very effective against poison types. So my Dark Pulse does charge up, it is going to be doing a lot of neutral damage against him. As you guys saw there, we he, he is, we are capable of going for the hard farm down that will boost our energy or our energy for our charge moves up. He does throw in a sludge bomb that will be doing not, not very effective damage against my muck. So we are going to go for the hard farm down, we do get a lot of energy charged up from that. Both of us are down by one shield, we do have the advantage on both charge moves and the Pokemon. He does make a swap out into his second Pokemon, which is a Kyogre. We did have a bit of lag, uh, as you guys will see coming up as we, as I do throw in this Dark Pulse. He does throw in a shield for that, but we do have a bit of lag, so we aren't able to get the f max amount of energy from my charge moves there. So we do have to make a swap out to Cresselia, because Cresselia is just a tank, and he will be doing a lot of initial damage with our psychic type moves. Um, We aren't actually going to be throwing in our Moonblast, because we do want to preserve our energy and go for the hard farm down we do get hit by a thunder which is still okay because we basically are the same health right about now um he does have zero shields so these moon blasts are going to be doing a lot of damage against whoever he does make a swap out into um i do i am going to be throwing in another shield here because he is very low and we are once again capable of going for the hard farm down with our Cresselia. One more hit, he does go down. We have basically almost two Moonblasts charged up. He does make a swap out into his final Pokemon, which is Jace Charizard. These Moonblasts are going to be doing not very effective damage, but a good amount of not very effective damage, enough for a Rock Slide to actually take him out. I do think Rock Slide will be able to one-shot him. I don't really know, I haven't seen Charizard. I haven't won up a, a, against a full health Charizard against my Mel Metal while throwing in a Rock Slide. We, I do know that Rock Slips will be doing double super effective damage so it will be close as you guys do see. Um, It does one shot him from the health that he is at allowing us to win the third round. Good game to opponent. And alright guys, for the 4th round, my opponent's first Pokemon is a Leafeon. We will be taking not very effective damage hits due to our poison type on my Alolan Muk. So Grass types will be doing not very effective damage against my Alolan Muk once again, while he will be taking neutral damage from my Dark Pulse, super effective damage from my Acid Spray. Although Acid Spray will be doing not super effective damage, it does give him a defense debuff, plus it is going to be doing super effective damage once again, but Dark Pulse is just going to be doing way more damage, and I do just want to get um i do just want to get rid of this leafeon right away um he does make a swap out into a swamper he will probably tank this dark pulse knowing that he did actually throw in a shield for his leafeon already i am going to make a swap out or make a quick swap into my cresselia right as i do this because swamper does fully counter both my muck and my melmetal this is basically why my cresselia is here if you guys do want to double move any of these pokemon i do recommend alolan muck with acid spray plus dark pulse Melmetal with Rock Slide and Superpower and Cresselia with Moonblast or any, actually any Psychic or Fairy type move um, doubled with Grass Knot. Um, we, we are able to go for the hard farm down right here. We we might be able to throw in the shield. We might have to um, because I do want to preserve my Cresselia's health or throw in a charge move without being one shot to a Pokemon. So we don't. So we aren't able to get to that second charge move. So we are able to take him out. I probably will see a swap out into Leafia. Nope. He does make a swap out to Heatran. So my psychic type moves and fairy type moves will be doing barely any damage. It will barely even scratch this heat right here but since i do have those two um moon blast charged up it does do a good amount of damage and my confusions from my from my psychic type fast move is also going to be doing not very effective damage but a good amount of not very effective damage so we are successfully able to get this heat train to half health and because of that he does actually see this and he does decide to throw in a charge move instead of going for the hard farm done that was really good and that does give us the advantage because it does allow my 
Hello and luck to come in safely. Just make another swap on to Leafeon. I am going to allow my Melmetal to fight this Leafeon. Um, my Thunder Shocks, as you guys can see, is barely scratching that Leafeon. It is going to be doing not very effective damage, but my Rock Slides are going to be doing neutral damage against him. I did have to get to that. Excellent. I do want to do as much damage as possible so my Alolan Muck does not have to go up against this Leafeon. Um, he does get a charge move off. It is probably going to be a Leaf Blade since he does throw in a Leaf Blade onto my Alolan Muck. So it is going to be doing a good amount of damage. Rock Slide is going to be doing neutral damage once again. He does have zero shields to block this Rock Slide. If he does, if it does come down to him being um, little health, I will not throw any shield for my Melmetal because knowing that I don't have superpower as a double move, um, my Melmetal will be no good against that Heatran because um, fire types are also going to be doing super effective damage against steel types. So my final Pokemon is that Alolan Muck. I do have to get as much energy as possible to throw in these Dark Pulses on this Heatran while having enough energy to throw in those double moves. So his final Pokemon that heat trend does come out i do have that one shield just in case he does have a flamethrower ready and it seems like he won't even be able to get to that because that dark pulse did one shot him allowing us to win the fourth round good game to our opponent all right guys so that will actually be the end of today's video if you guys did enjoy please consider dropping a like subscribing and turn notifications on